it can be challenging for, uh, for us as adults to direct our attention when we need to. And there is a perception that it's harder for us to get kids to focus on a task. Joining us on the Coffee Group today, parenting advisor John Cowan and from Auckland's Ficino School principal Peter Crompton. Morning both to you. Good morning. Now, Peter, let's start with you. Your school puts a lot of emphasis on self-responsibility. Is that a key to helping kids to get focused? Yeah, I mean, uh, the first criteria in, in focusing or giving your attention to anything is actually to know where your attention is. Mm. Uh, that might sound funny, but actually we play touch and go and our attention flicks from one thing to the next thing. And so what we do is we uh, practice an exercise which we just simply call the pause. And the children stop, they connect with their senses, they connect with the touch of their feet on the floor, they connect with their clothes on their skin, and they just listen. They actually close their eyes so they're not interacting with each other but it really uh, brings them to rest and allows them to be aware of where their attention is at any given moment. That actually makes perfect sense to me. It makes perfect sense. I mean, because kids are thinking about a lot of things, aren't they, John? They think mm. about things, their minds are just full of things all the time. I mean, how long should we be expecting them to focus on, on one task? About that long. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's good. That's right. And if they've got a big task to do, like a whole lot of homework or a project, break it down into little tasks. OK, I'd like you to do this bit and this bit. I'll sit here while you do it and uh, then you let me know, well, and then we'll go do the next bit. And don't expect them to do big, long stretches of time. Even when I'm working, I set a little countdown timer, and I see how much I can do in a certain period of time, and then I have a stretch, and then I do another period of time. So expect them to sit there for an hour at a time. They'll learn how to become procrastinators. Oh, we're all very good at that. Yeah. That's what Facebook is for. <laughs> I'm an expert procrastinator. My children can learn off me. Now, Peter, what you mentioned before was uh, the, the connecting with their what they're wearing or just how they're feeling and their clothes on their body. Mm. It's mindfulness, really, isn't it? Um, and it's a bit of a buzzword at the moment. Uh, we should be teaching our kids though, to appreciate those moments in life, shouldn't we? Yeah, no, ab ab absolutely. And I mean, children children naturally live in the moment. They, they do, and getting them to appreciate that is, is really important. And our motto, our school motto, is rejoice in the present. So just find joy in the present moment. Mm. But the, um, the key is really um, understanding and using your attention properly. So once you know where your attention is, uh, then the next step is being able to direct your attention to where it needs to be and not, not being pulled away by the first thing that comes to mind. And, and, and also being able to sustain your attention uh, to, until the task's com complete. And this is hard, and it's getting harder because there is so much technology around now. Yeah. Devices. I mean, I yeah. find it hard to keep mm. my attention focused when I've got yeah. my devices around. So many distractions. Especially yeah, with absolutely. kids as well. Yeah. So then let's have some strategies from both of you then to end this uh, with some good focusing tips for kids. Yeah. John, let's start with you. Well, when you're wanting them to do something, you remove as many of the distractions as you can so that there's a, a sort of a lower signal-to-noise ratio. So Television can, off. Mm. That's right. Phone away. That's right. Mm. And uh, so they can focus on these things and to, to realise that it's actually good for them to learn to actually to steady and to, and to settle on something. They're learning impulse control so they don't have this grasshopper brain hopping around. It's amazing how in the old days sitting still, sitting up straight and being quiet was considered what kids had to learn how mm. to do. It's a bit passe now but there, perhaps there was something in that. Okay, learning problem. kids to control their attention. Definitely. And Peter, a tip from you? Yeah, one of the techniques we use at school is when, it, when the children are writing or drawing anything just to get them to really rest their attention on the tip of the pencil. It's, it's amazing in terms of just a, a being restful simple but also it allows the ideas to flow creatively we find i love so. those ideas mm, i love yeah. them great parenting advice thank you peter and john it's a pleasure Ficino school has an information evening for parents coming up on november 9 so go to their website for more information